name is Patrick McLean. I'm head of A&R for a company called Upper Eleven Records and Management. I started as a DJ and moved on to doing my own club nights and stuff. Prior to that, I'd been in a band and stuff like that, but that was just so early, it doesn't really matter. Um, after doing the club nights, I became a, a VIP host, which meant that as well as putting on the nights, we kind of looked after um, VIP guests, whether they'd be famous or just you know, important guests. <clears throat> um, from there, I met somebody who decided that he wanted to be involved in the record industry, and he he wondered if I was interested in doing it. And uh, I thought, well, it's a it's an easy way of getting out of the, the industry I was in because the late nights were just killing me to be honest with you. And um, I got to do the job that I've always wanted, which is A&R. Sometimes the fact that it's quite a cliquey industry, you know, but you know, all industries can be that way. It tends to be about who you know rather than what you know. Um, the people that get elevated to positions that really don't always have the what you think are qualifications. It can be a good thing in some ways, but you know, getting into that, that clique is a little bit harder to work for us. Because I still do the odd club night, um, I end up strolling in at 5 o'clock in the morning, getting up at 9 o'clock and then uh, coming to, to the office in Soho. <coughs> First thing, right, as, with, as with most people, you start checking out your emails. Um, about 3, 4 o'clock we have a group meeting. Um, then I get my two assistants to uh, give me an idea of what they've been looking at recently, which artists, which bands. Um, then that will normally involve, say about an hour or so of a listening session. And then there will be other things like rehearsals for a couple of the artists that we've got. Uh, one of them is Natalia, uh, who's doing really well at the moment. So we've had some rehearsals because she's been performing with the live band again, which is really good. She's loving that. Um, and then, as I said, sometimes because I'm, in, I'm still involved in the club industry, I do end up doing a little bit of hosting later on, which is quite good for the job I'm in during the day because sometimes if we have to look after clients or if we've got people over from the States then sometimes it helps as well. I would say get into it for the right reasons. Um, the the, the a and side of the industry is the creative side. <clears throat> the business side is, is important to us but it starts off with music so you've kind of got to be interested in music. But also have an idea on what is commercial as well because it being a business, there's a certain amount of what you do that has to be commercial to allow you to, to do the things that can be side projects, that can be development as well. There's a lot of talk of 360 deals, which is basically where record labels are getting involved in other areas <coughs> of, a, of a, an artist's life, whether it be management or their publishing. Um, that is going to be important, and how the, the industry learns to deal with that, how the artists learn to deal with it without feeling as though they're trapped in, you know, boxed off into a corner, um, that will be important, and also making sure that these labels actually know what they're doing once they do take on, on those extra duties. Um, the way music will be brought to the public is going to be in a, a totally different way. A lot of things are going free on magazines, and like cover mounts and stuff like that. Um, the live industry is going to be really important. Um, the, the artists that come out and actually see themselves as a brand, like everything they do is as a brand, <coughs> and start thinking of different revenue streams. Of, you know, the label obviously going to be thinking of that as well, but the, the artist needs to be looking at it for themselves and their management as well. Um, so once people realise that the actual music itself isn't necessarily going to be sold in the volume that it has been, but the artist brand can be sold to a much greater degree, then I think.